In this equation, we have aluminum oxide plus carbon, Al2O3 plus C. So let's count the atoms up on each side and then balance the equation. Two aluminum atoms, three oxygens, and just one carbon. On the product side, we have one aluminum, two oxygens, and again, just one carbon. So it's not balanced. It looks like we could balance the aluminums pretty easy, but since aluminum's all by itself, let's leave that to last because that's really easy to balance. We've got to deal with these oxygen atoms here. What I'd like to do when I have an odd number is get that to be an even number. So I could multiply this by two. I'll put a coefficient of two in front of the Al2O3. Three times two, that gives me six. And this two, it applies to everything. So the two times two, that'll give me four aluminums. But that's good because I have six here and two here. So if I put a three in front of the CO2, now I'll have two times three That'll give me six. So now I've balanced the oxygens and then one carbon times the three. That'll give me three carbons, but I'm pretty much done now because I have one carbon here and three here. I'll put a three in front of the carbon, one times three. That's balanced. And we said we left this aluminum to last. We need four aluminums. We only have one. We can just put a four in front of the aluminum, one times four. That'll give us four and we are done. This equation's balanced. So two little tricks here. If you have elements all by themselves, leave those to last when you're balancing equations. And then if you have an odd number, like we had with the oxygen here, we had three, sometimes multiplying that by two will help you balance the equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Al2O3 plus C. Thanks for watching.